All right, math thinkers, let's get to some of our answers. I hope you took the time to work through these. This number two was a little tricky because they never told us how much one tent could hold, how many lanterns one tent needed. But if two tents needs four, then I could just figure that out, right? One tent would need two lanterns. So, and I made a goof. You could either add two lanterns for each tent, right? Plus two, plus two. Every time you add one tent, you'd add two lanterns. Or you can multiply the number of tents times two to get the number of lanterns. This is how we're using the table. So for number three, you see what you need to fill in. You could either add six campers for each adult. So each time you're adding six, right? Or you can multiply the number of adults, of adults whoops, by six. I forgot to finish my sentence. So five times six equals 30. All right, let's turn to page 191. And I'm just going to highlight each one. If you need to pause as you look, that's okay. So you can see you're adding two miles per hour, right? Two plus two is four, four plus two is six. Or you could multiply the number of hours by two. So like four times two is eight, five times two is 10. Number five, I've got cabins and campers. So I can either add nine campers for each cabin or I can multiply by nine. So seven times nine equals 63. Six times nine equals 54. All right, for number six, let's take a look. We've got cabins and beds and they've changed the direction of the table. Now it's going, it's not going horizontal, it's a vertical table, but it works the same way. So we have one cabin, gives you five beds. So you can add five beds per cabin. Each time you add a cabin, you're adding five beds. You could think of it that way. Or you can multiply the number of cabins by five. So five times five equals 25. Six times five equals 30, right? You can think of this table two different ways. Number seven. We've got the number of adults and the number of students. So kind of how many chaperones are needed, right? So add six students per adult. So every time you add one adult, you're adding six students, right? They didn't tell us how many students one adult could handle, but we could fill that in, right? We could think, oh, if there's one adult, then there's half of this. So half of two is one, half of 12 is six. Right? I like to kind of think that through. If they don't start with one, I like to know how much is one. right? Or you could multiply the number of adults by six. So six times six equals 36 or seven times six equals 42. Okay, going down to number 10. Let me back this up a little bit because it's a different orientation. It says students made a craft project at camp. They used two small pine cones two small pine cone patterns and one large pine cone pattern. Complete the table to find how many patterns were used for the different number of projects. So for one project, they used two small patterns and one large pattern. For two projects, they used double, right? Four small patterns and only one, double the large patterns, one more. So our pattern, we're in the large pattern, we're adding one each time, you can see that. But the small pattern, we're adding two each time, right? Or we could say, I'm going to multiply the number of projects by two to get the small pattern and the number of projects by one to get the large pattern. So you can think of it two different ways. Okay, let's go ahead and turn to page 192. This. I started before I really understood what I was doing. So you see, I scratched some things out. This is why we don't, don't use pen. But it says, Jenna bought three fishing poles. How much money did she spend? And this is what confused me. The pictograph says the key is that each picture of a fish equals $2. 
Well, this is that one pole, poles cost two, four, six, eight, ten. One pole costs ten dollars. Okay? So she's buying three. So three times the ten dollars equals thirty. And I kind of wrote that other ten there, and it might look a little confusing. So I also figured out that two pictures of fish at two dollars each is really four dollars. So a cork costs four dollars. Worms, like a bucket, little bucket of worms, cost two, four, six and a half of a picture. So that's one, right? So seven dollars for a bucket of worms. Now number twelve, Noah bought one fishing pole, ten dollars, two corks, two times four is eight, and one carton of worms, seven dollars. What was the total cost? He spent twenty-five dollars. It's a good day of fishing. Hopefully he caught a lot. Now we're gonna do some writing. Ryan bought eight corks. Explain how you can use the commutative property to find the cost, right? And so corks, one cork is $4. He bought eight. So eight corks equals $32. Each cork is $4. So eight times four equals 32, or four times eight equals 32. You could think of eight corks at $4 each, or $4 each for eight corks. Now number 14, we're gonna go a little deeper. The cost to rent a raft is $7 per person. A raft can hold up to six people, so six people can fit in the raft. There is a $3 launch fee per raft, so not per person. What is the total cost for a group of six? So $7 times the six people, $7 per person, that's our one unit cost, times the six people, we have six units. So that is seven times six is 42, but we also have to add that $3, that launch fee. So the total for all six people to go in the raft is $45. Number 15, Taylor bought four boxes of granola bars. There are six bars in each box. How many bars, granola bars, did Taylor buy? So four boxes of six bars, four of six, four groups of six, four times six is 24. And down here, last one, think smarter, complete the table. Amir said a rule for the pattern shown is in this table is multiply by four. Is he correct? Explain how you know your answer is reasonable. Now, they started off saying two cans, maybe will contain eight peaches. I like to half it and see how much the one unit is. So he's saying that you would multiply by four. And yes, he is correct because one can holds four peaches. So you multiply the number of cans by four. And I can see that's easy. I know my four times four equals 16. I know five times four equals 16. So that works. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Your homework is to do the even numbers on page 192A and 192B. So 246 and on the back, 246. So you have six problems to do on your own. I will see you in the live session. And thanks for dealing with all this uh, slowness with my computer. I hope it didn't frustrate you as much as it kind of was starting to frustrate me.